Okay, here we go. Fingers crossed for huge success on this one. Let's just see what we find. Whoa. Hell, guys. <laughs> we already found it. More muffins. More donuts. Frickin' sweet. I'm just gonna stash that right there for now. Cool. Cool. Hells yeah. There it is. Found another food bag. These are not frozen. Why are these not frozen? All right, those aren't frozen because there is a wet cleaning rag. Uh. Actually, yeah, some of those are wet and gross, so we're going to skip them, but some of them are good to go. No, no, no. All right, okay. Those can just go back up in. And while we're here, let's check these. Rather than play again, rather than bringing home a bunch of garbage, play again, play again. When? Oh, a donut. Yeah, that's what I really need right now, is a donut. Play again. Last one, play again. All right. That was fun. Anything good in here today? Huh. Lots and lots. That's a lot of pizza. All right, we'll try it. Let's bounce. Did I get any chicken? Yet? 
There's a few. All right. Let's talk more about dumpster food when I get home and get all these bottles turned into money. Okay, back home, back at the homestead. Welcome back. Now, here's the only thing I wanted to point out first. It's minus 25 degrees outside, so any of the stuff that gets put out is basically being put directly into a freezer. In the summertime, I probably would have grabbed none of this stuff, but right now, it's the perfect time to get... Just look at this. Ooh, happy dumpster day! So, that is hella donuts. These ones are like Bavarian cream filled. They're actually pretty good even when they're frozen. I haven't tried them. Uh, since they've warmed up a bit. They're all like just day old, so there's nothing wrong with these at all. Then we got a half a dozen chocolate chunk, four double chocolate, two raisin bran, one something else bran, a carrot, walnut, and a fruit explosion, which never get thrown out. That's crazy. And over here we got three everything bagels and four, um, I think those are the jalapeno and cheese. Yeah, bagels. That's just a start though, because over here, this is the one I'm actually, damn it, Sonia, I'm gonna need another plate. This is the one I'm super stoked about right here, the 7-Eleven one. I'll start stacking the pizza on one, and then the meats on a different one. It smells fine. I'm gonna need another plate. <sighs> Got hella taquitos. Little chicken wings. Another hot dog. Another corn dog. Pizza, pizza, pizza. Can't even fit this all on one plate. Meat, why not? Not gonna eat that. Breakfast sandwiches. Hot dog buns. I think that's good enough. Let me wash up. Okie dokie. For the most part, none of this food is healthy, but I bet it's tasty. Bam! So we're looking at, we got four slices of pepperoni, four slices of three cheese, three slices of whatever this chicken one is. Don't totally understand. That's a heck of a lot of pizza. And then over here, we got two chicken, what are these, thighs? I don't know. Um, a whole bunch of meatballs, a whole bunch of boneless wings. And I'm a little undecided about the ham off the sandwich, but yeah, give it a maybe. And then over here, we got three corn dogs, a whole bunch of big bite hot dogs, a whole bunch of taquitos, and two chicken Caesar wraps. I call that a decent haul, my dudes. I think the real challenge here might be using it all up, but the truth is I'm probably just gonna throw a lot of that in the freezer, cause why not? Munchies for days! Munchies for days! Yeah! Yeah, most of this stuff's just going straight into the freezer. Because there is no way I'm gonna be able to plow through all this. I mean, technically, it's already gone bad. What is that? Well, it's like egg salad. Nice! I got a lot of, uh, oh, that's sweet chili Thai. Don't bother me. Twelve taquitos. And then the hot dogs. I don't really want, like, a lot of crumbs on these, but it's not really a big deal. All of this convenience store food is kind of wearing the breading from, um, boneless wings and such, which is not a big deal. It just doesn't look very appealing. Now a quick hot dog rinse. Nice. Eleven hot dogs. Some of these are like, they got like bits of jalapeno or something in them. They're different though. They charge like three dollars a piece for these things. They probably have to charge so much to cover the cost of the ones that they know they're gonna throw out. Sack of meatballs. Sack of chicken wing! And you know, I am gonna bag up some pizza. Not a bad freezer stash. Still leaves me wondering what to do with all these.
I guess it's fine to freeze a bunch of bagels. In fact, I probably should. I'm just gonna freeze all these bagels. I'm also gonna stash four cookies in the freezer for later. Cause why not? Now the only thing that will definitely not be good frozen is these wraps. This one's got a much better wrap than the other one. It's such weird looking chicken. I'm gonna rebuild it. The lettuce in this sucks, so it's got to go. Okay, that's one. Are we even in focus? And then, oh, this one's chicken Caesar. Get out of town, you sad excuse for a vegetable. Now that's looking super mellow. We're gonna take this. Nuke it up. Just give her like a minute 20. That's all she's gonna need. A pan on. Yes, a pan. Oh, snap! I made a horrible mistake. I was so distracted hanging out with you guys that I accidentally pushed start on 12 minutes and not a minute 20. Doesn't matter. Still dumpster food. So now I got this kale to replace that lettuce. And we're totally going to need to boost the sauce. Then we're going to throw some oil. Start with the extra crispy side down. Normally I fry wraps, burritos, those sorts of things in oil to add some crispiness on the outside. This time I'm hoping a quick dip in some hot oil will uh, soften up the... Oh, that's not what... You need water to do that. Eh, we'll see how it turns out. Oh, while well, that's frying up, did you know it's National Pizza Day? By the time you guys see it, it's going to be Pizza Day it was yesterday, but today... What a great day to find a whole ton of free pizza! Speaking of the free food, this would be a terrible, terrible, terrible idea in the summer. Because... It's not food safe. That stuff, uh, the ready to eat, sitting in the warmer kind of food, if that got put out into a bin that wasn't below the temperature of a freezer, then it would sit at the nominal temperature for bacteria to grow and thrive in for a very long time. So I wouldn't touch it, even if I saw the person throw, okay, maybe if I saw the person throw the, the bag in there, but I still couldn't guarantee it hadn't been sitting inside for who knows how long. It's just not a good idea. It's, um, food poisoning is, this is gonna sound kind of weird coming from me, but it's definitely not something you want to risk. So, be safe out there. It was great to find a whole bunch of quality protein, though. That's the hard part to source. The, the sugary things, the chocolatey, gluteny, that kind of stuff, that's not so hard. But, um, actually, Maybe I should go back. Maybe I should stock up the freezer as much as possible while it's this cold. It's not a bad idea. Because that was like a week's worth of food. That is saving money. Alright. Ah, oh, crap. I forgot to add cheese. And I burned it. Nope, it's perfect. Dumpster life. I've been in a really singing, sing-songy mood today. Now there's plenty of time left in the day, but I'm pretty sure today is the day I get to ask for an increase to my seller limits. At least that's what the guy on the phone said. We're talking about eBay. So I think I'm going to take the rest of the day to list like crazy on Kijiji and eBay so we can have a super successful, profitable weekend. I'll, um, I'll bring you guys along um, if there's any interesting repairs or things I'm going to piece together. Uh, but I think that'll pretty much do it. It might seem a little light, but hey, other channels get away with less. Thanks for coming along, guys. This has been fun. Leave it better than you found it. Keep doing the thing. Heck yeah. Needs one more thing. If I get sick from this, you'll know. Yeah.
fresh like a pair of some new J's. It's like buying new records on a Tuesday. Never goes out of style. The old beat child slacks. It's been a while. What you say? Yeah, I'm back in the UK. Out of uh -huh. Red Lane, living out yeah. in a suitcase. But wherever we at, got my Blue Jays cap. I'm It's ready. Moment right. 